The inlet casing provides a smooth transition flow of air from the filters, through the silencers, and into the axial compressor. The inlet casing also provides access to the thrust bearing and the inlet journal bearing. Variable inlet guide vanes are located in the inlet casing directly in front of the first row of compressor blades. The vanes are used to regulate the amount of air entering the compressor. The circular operating ring actuates the guide vanes so that all vanes move in unison when opening or closing. Before each set of rotating blades is a set of stationary blades or blade rings that direct the air to the next set of rotating blades. The compressor blade rings have stationary airfoil shaped vanes that direct the air to and from the rotating compressor blades. The rotating blades force the air into progressively smaller spaces as the air passes through the compressor. Heat of compression is generated in the air as it is passed through successive compressor stages. The compressor consists of 16 rows of individually removable rotating blades. Each blade is locked in place by a dovetail arrangement at the base of the blade. The rotor is made up of a bladed compressor spindle and a bladed turbine spindle that is bolted together to make one single shaft.